This manifesto is a manifesto that the people of 19 South Shillong helped us to build. For eight months we have been moving door to door, meeting with people. We also gave a survey form where people responded and their thoughts, their concerns, their ideas. We have tried our best to reflect it in this manifesto. This manifesto is a two-level manifesto. At one level, it is a specific plan of action, people's plan of action for 19 South Shillong, which includes the areas of Laban, Madan Laban, Kenchi Strait, Jalupara, Pazandaga, Anjali, Lumparing, and all of the areas that constitute 19 South Shillong. And we also have a state level manifesto. What are the things that we need to do at state level that will finally also translate to achievements at all of our various constituencies. So I will share with you some of the things that are here in this manifesto. In addition to action, an action plan and points of action which we hope to take, I have also very clearly laid down ethical commitments that I as an MLA will uphold and I think ethical <coughs> commitments are very important because what is lacking today is precisely that, that people in power abuse their power. So we need to make a commitment to the people that it is them we will represent and it is their interest for which we are there. In addition to the ethical uh, commitments, I have also tried to talk about what we will immediately do in 100 days, which is about three months plus. And uh, I will share with you now those specific points. So to begin with, I think we need to understand that any work, first and foremost, has to be participatory. We believe that not only that the people of South, 19 South Shillong has helped us to build this manifesto, but now to take this manifesto forward also, first and foremost, we will have a participatory survey where we need to again understand some of the things on the ground. And that we hope to complete within 100 days of being in office. In addition to that, you know that we have